Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Step by Step. In the previous video, we saw about the basics of trust, like what is the need to provide trust structures, what are the assumptions that we have to follow while analyzing the trust structure and the stability of trust. And today we are going to discuss about the method, what are the method that we need to analyze the trust structures. So first method we are going to discuss is the method of joint. And in the next uh, video, we will see about the method of section and zero member forces. Before moving ahead, just hit the like button, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get the continuous updates about the new concepts in this channel. So let's get started. Today we are going to consider one practical case of roof truss structure. This structure may be of any shed or any storage shed that we are going to analyze today. So in this roof structure, we are going to analyze the first bay of this roof truss. Here we are assuming that due to the dead load, we are getting this type of load like at the top of the joint of this truss. 2 kN is acting and the second and third joint are from the top we are getting 3 kN. Now to analyze this structure means we have to find the forces in each members. If you see this structure then you can observe that this structure is symmetric from both the side from the center. So if we analyze the one side of this structure then automatically we will get the forces in another side also. So we are going to consider the left portion of the stress and here six members are there hence we have to find out the six member forces. So before starting the analysis we have to find that this structure is stable and statically determinate or not. To check this we have a condition that total number of unknown forces should be equal to the number of equilibrium equation available. Here we have total 11 members and three reactions so total number of unknown forces are 11 plus 3 that is 14 and we have number of equilibrium equation as total number of joint into two it means at each joint we have two equilibrium equation that is uh, the summation of forces in x-axis and summation of forces in y-axis hence we have the total number of equilibrium equation as 14 Therefore, total number of unknown is equal to equilibrium equation. Hence, this structure is statically determinate. And since we have the condition that M plus R equal to 2J, it means this structure is also a stable structure. And uh, since by just seeing uh, this structure, this structure is forming a basic form as a triangular form. Hence, it is also an internally stable structure and the reactions that is external reaction of this system is not either a concurrent to one point and not parallel hence this is also externally stable just check my previous video to know more about the stability of trusses so now we can analyze these structures starting with the external reactions here we have total three number of reactions two at the support a and one at the roller support that is at D. Here summation of fx is equal to 0. So here no horizontal force is there hence at support A at hinge support there will be no horizontal reactions. Now taking the summation of force in y direction as a 0 then here total number of uh, loadings over this will be equal to the two support reaction that is at A and D. Hence total reaction at A plus total vertical reaction at D is equal to 8 and taking the moment about A equal to 0 we will get this equation after solving this equation we will get the value of vertical reaction at D is equal to 4 hence a vertical reaction at A is equal to 8 minus 4 that is 4 hence we find out the external reactions now we are going to find out the member forces for this we have method of joint in this method, the most important rule is that we have to consider each joint one by one and 
to analyze it to find the forces and the concept of this method is to select the joint we need to consider that joint where two or less unknown member forces are available since we only have two number of equilibrium equation that is summation of fx and summation of fy at each joint because truss member has only axial force so equation of moment that is summation of m equal to 0 is not valid since the forces are member forces are passing through that the joint considered hence no moment will be generated hence the uh, equilibrium equation due to moment will not be valid now we are considering the left side of this structures so out of this four joint just check which joint has two number of unknown member forces if you see here we have only one option that is considering the joint a so considering the joint a we will be having two member forces and one reaction hence two non unknown uh, forces is there so we can find out this with the help of two equilibrium equations in this method we are going to follow the sign convention that the tension forces we are considering as positive value and compression forces we are considering as a negative value and at the initial phase of a structure where we don't know the member forces sign convention we always consider the value as a positive that is tension value so now consider the joint a at joint a we have the free body diagram like this here we are first consider the summation of fi equal to 0 so we'll get the value of fag fag into sin theta is equal to minus 4 due to the external reactions hence fag value will get as a minus 8 kN that is minus it is showing compression value hence fag equal to 8 kN in compression and considering summation of fx equal to 0 then here we'll get the value of fab so while using this equation we get the value of fab as 4 root 3 that is equal to 6.928 in tension now coming to joint g first we are going to take summation of forces that is perpendicular to the member ga and gf because here members is already inclined so we are considering in that axis only hence we get this equation that is fgb sin 60 plus 3 sin 60 equal to 0 so here we'll get the value of fgb is equal to minus 3 now along the member considering the summation of force equal to 0 along the member ga and gf so here we are having the equation fgb cos 60 plus fgf minus fga minus 3 cos 60 equal to zero so here we are having fgf value as equal to minus 5 kN that is minus means it is showing the compression value now we are coming to joint b here also we are having two unknown forces that is that is fbf and fbc and fbg we already have find out and fba also we also find out so consider the axis along y summation of fi equal to fbf sin 60 plus fbg sin 30 equal to 0 so here we will get the value of fbf is equal to 1.73 kN in compression value and if you consider along the x axis then summation of fx equal to 0 will get this equation and with that with this equation we'll get the value of fbc equal to 3.46 kN in tension so we have find out all the member forces of this structures since this is symmetric structure so right side of this member also will get the same uh, same forces value hence we analyze the structure with the method of joint in the next uh, video we will see the method of section and the zero member forces concept so thank you for watching stay tuned with us do like subscribe and share with your colleagues